All right, right here they got the 64 dialed in with my different distributor. I pulled the, uh, the old one out and it was welded, we ground it all out, put springs and mechanical stuff in it. And now it's at idle, it's 20. When you rev it, it goes about 38, 37, somewhere in there before 3000 RPM, which is perfect. Revs like a champion, everything's good. I converted my carburetors back to the original setup because I had holes drilled in those and it was, it was messing up everything a little bit, which it's, you, you should have heard it with the other ones. It revved good. These revved about as good, so it's good. Uh, but this right here, Jed Scott sent me this. I was looking for one of these. See that right there? And he said, if I pay for shipping, which I still got to see him 20 bucks for shipping, uh, he would send me a matched velocity stack to this one, which he said it would match, and I didn't really think it matched because I've never seen another one. Yeah, it's very cool looking because he had a tone ram on there and a couple of 660s is going to sell. And I was talking to him about buying them, just kind of working out a deal. And then uh, he wound up selling with one of his buddies. He said he pulled a friend card on him, and he, he said he kind of felt bad about not getting that. I said, well, I was going to try to get them, but, you know, it ain't no big deal. So he sold, him, sold a tone ram to his buddy and said he felt bad about it. So we was on there talking about having one of these velocity stacks, and he had one, and he said he felt bad about the tone ram, so he's going to send Justin that velocity stack. That's cool of you, son. Way you cool. You didn't have to do that, but did I... And Kansas, dude, he sent that thing down here. It's a perfect match. That's the only one I've ever seen in 20 years. And, and he had that one. And I know I know you love your velocity stack. And that's a tough thing to let go of. And you? gold anodized. There gold, ain't many of they them. They are hard to let go of. And that's, that's mighty kind of you. But you didn't have to do that over the tone ram. Wasn't no, I told you, wasn't no big deal. I understand. It's just part of the thing. He said his friend wanted it real bad. And he sold it to him. And he's, you know, it bought, ain't no biggie. But it's all good. But bless your heart, son. That's, I was going to send you a message on the thing, but a message don't work. It's, it, that's that's a very kind thing you done. And Justin got him two on there now and got mine and got yeah. his on what there. What you're about to see in the box, I put it back in the box so you get the full effect. And he did autograph it. Yeah, as real as it gets. Yeah. Scott Speed Shop. Go on, go on to YouTube and check out his stuff. He's got some cool cars on there. Oh, stuff. yeah. Go on there and look. And uh, see for Calamity Jane, the baddest, most period correct gasser. I don't know about baddest, but period correct is pretty up there <laughs> as far good. as that's concerned. But it's what's in the box that counts. Check this out. Like I said, Dad said it. I said it. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. Look at that. It's like yeah. perfect match. It, it's a pretty Signed good shape. It. This and here has been all over the place and got some dings and bangs, but they just can't. It's been run on so many different cars. Yeah, it does. See that right there? Scott Speed Shop. Wiggly. Check him out. There's his signature inside. That's yeah. all the official going on there. He sells a bunch of uh, yeah, hard to find. I'm not the name right, Jedi. I think that's how you say Jedi. it. Jedi. I mean, he goes to Jed, but I, I'd say Jedi. I might get it wrong because I ain't too smart. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, go. ain't it beautiful? Ain't it beautiful? Yeah. That's a perfect <laughs> setup right there. I had mm -hmm. a little spacer on this part, it's a little bit lower. But I still got to ground on my spatial a little bit and make it a little it's lower. It's on there and it's official. That's some good mojo right yeah, there. Yeah, check it out. I even cut it out already. <laughs> But the shipping's coming to you, but that, yeah. bless your heart, son. That, 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 you didn't have to go to all that trouble for that. I got the envelope and everything I was like, he's had that velocity stack for a long time, and that's a hard piece to let go. Especially, I mean, you don't understand unless you're velocity stack people, but those things, you drool over them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, if you, you go to the swap meet, I mean, you're a velocity stack. you got a velocity stack eye, and you'll see them, uh, I mean, four aisles over. You'll see them under a, under a tent under a wrap you can spy one of these mm -hmm. i mean you know what and I mean? we've got them all we've bought yeah. so many of them i mean but I, it's hard to find a match set the only match set i ever had is what's on that 57 and they just pure luck but i ain't never found two of the light mm -hmm. got a the, couple of those great big ones but they just don't they don't look the right. k and n's don't look yeah, right. they they're don't too look big. right they're too big and just way too off but just look at it i mean it don't get no better than that grab that screwdriver oh there you go you can't, you can't beat oh. that you can't beat that old school brother. I don't care what you can't touch it. Oh, and it is proven. It gains a tenth. I yeah. picked up a tenth oh, and a half. Yeah, they are good for a tenth or two tenths. You can sell you you they work. They really do. We've tried them on and off, but they do work. God, I love that. No joke. That looks so but the square awesome. ones that are not spun, it's got that square lip and the filter goes in. They, they don't work as good. These spun aluminum ones got that got the top rolled over. That's what you want if you're really going to race them. Because that's yes. what these are made for. They're not made for looks. They're made to work, and they, they look good too. But they're the ones that the filter set down in, which they work. Where's the filter? You can still put a filter in these things. Everybody for street somebody, somebody cruising. Somebody was talking the other day for the street. You can stick that right down in there and run your rod right up and tighten it down. And that rubber it'll pull right straight down in there. Mm -hmm. it'll sit right there, and it gets plenty of air for the street. 
I wouldn't race with them in there, but no, because it'll go. <laughs> yeah. This is just some breather. That's the same size. These are what comes in those, uh, like those uh, street scoops. Yeah, the street scoops and shit like that. It comes with these little cheap tops and these little old filters, and they fit velocity stacks just beautiful. They work perfect. That's what I got on mine. I mean, they work like a champion, just like it right there. Just run your rod down there, and you get the drag strip, just pop him right out there, and you're ready to go. It's got the pot root. There you go. Pop him right out. Might've got extra rivet up in here, but that's how to big, somebody drill a big hole in there. Why, I don't know, but. You had to feel it. But they work, there you go. That's crazy. Thank and you, son. you And you can't paint one big gold because out. it don't ever look right. Huh? You paint it gold, you can tell it ain't anodized. It don't look right. No, it don't look right. But that's a big shed out there. He's, he's, he's all about yes. Mopar. He's got a lot of Mopar stuff. If I ever find anything Mopar he, he needs, he's getting it. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. Check him out. If you need any kind of parts or anything, look him up on Facebook. Uh, yeah. He's got a little Facebook page and everything else. He's on YouTube too. Go check it out. Jed Scott. Yep. But he finds a lot of hard to find, like fuel and He does like us. He ain't got a pile of money and he ain't got a pile of super nice stuff. He just pieces stuff together, makes it work, and has a good time. Him and his dad both. They watch it, so. It's way all cool, good. way cool. But it's on there, son. She'll be rocking and rolling, knock. Yeah. I've wanted one of them, my God, forever. Yeah. Forever. Just, you just don't. You just have to be a velocity stat guy to understand. It's just. I don't know. You see one of them set up like that when you're a kid, you'll never forget it. They'll burn in your head and you'll be able to lost this that person from now on. That's too cool. I don't know why they quit making stuff that's cool. I just don't understand that. Something that looks real good and real nice, they change it to something stupid and I don't get it. But you can't, all this new age stuff can't compare to that kind of shit right there. No, it's way too cool. And that's got good mojo. So I, that, that, that was just a, that just a heck of a dude to do that. Yeah, you I know, couldn't believe just, it. Just because he didn't send me that intake, I mean, it, it didn't bother me at all. It's all good. It's, I mean, stuff like that, it just, it's all good. So it don't matter. Way cool, way cool. His friend ate it, and he took care of his friend, and that, that'll come around, and it'll do good. And good we mojo. Just, we just got lucky, and that good, clean living, we wound up with it, and it's going to be right there. It ain't getting sold. It ain't getting traded. It ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. But down that track, that's where it's going. That's it. So that's going to help her breathe. That's, that's going to help us. Help me. I love I love lost estates. Yeah, he's always wanted them right there. Ever since I've had that going on the truck, he's always wanted that. We've stuff. looked at every swap meet. It's what we look for first thing. Yeah. Yeah. Velocity stacks and holly stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Tunnel rams and, I mean, yeah, most people are tunnel rams and blowers and velocity stacks. You can have eighteen tunnel rams and then if you won't walk up to another and look at it. Mm -hmm. Every time. That's wild. But anyway, I love that gold one. It's on Justin Car now, so there you go. Pass it on. Mm-hmm. Looks better on there. It's good to go. Velocity stacks. Well, bless your heart, son. That's a good, that's a damn, that is, hey, some awesome people in this world, I'll tell you. Yeah, they are. And they never, it just never ceases to make it. Good, good there is. Way cool, way cool. I love it. It just goes around circle. We'll try to help somebody. We'll try to do something, try to do this, try to do that. You just help a little bit. Everybody right. does the same thing. Speaking of help, I got a bunch of shout outs. All the shout outs that are coming up next, there's a bunch of cars and stuff. So check them out. We'll be back here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to jack this thing up and pull the wheels and stuff and mount some slicks and back here in a minute. So check out shout outs. Look up Jada Scott. Yep. Got some cool Mopar. A few mm -hmm. Mopar guys check them out because he's got a whole garage full of stuff. Him and his dad rock and roll and working on this stuff. They're good people. So check them out. Oh yeah. We'll be back here in a minute. And there we go. Hey everybody. Jed here from Scott's Speed Shop. It's just a name, not a real shop by the way. I'm sure you can hear this grumble. If not, I'm sorry. But that's the son of Jezebel. I tell you what, let's go check it out. Got a exhaust leak on this side. Oh well. Check out the new seats. You guys will start getting to see more and more cool shit as we put in a roll cage and we do all that fancy shit. Well guys, I just wanna do a quick little video and I'm gonna let you all go back to enjoying your day. I appreciate all of you who watched this video all the way through. 
and didn't just make fun of me. Even though, I'll be quite honest, I make fun of myself too. But that's okay. Because that's what Jet is for. Anyways, you all have a good day. Thank you for watching. And I hope you all stay cool. Bye-bye. We got one broke down and just got to beat it. the good tire on the old cracker. It was a fight. It was a fight. <laughs> Not as one. bad as the other ones were, but it was still a fight. Yeah, it was like a... Go ahead and say this. Whenever you're breaking a cracker down, do it from the front, not from the back. <laughs> Press your brake clean on it too to help break that beat. Yeah. These are our tools. A hammer and a flathead screwdriver, a pry bar, yeah. and another flathead. And I tell you... The mattress plate made us place yeah, this was Kerry Fox's. We got another plate for him. It's still warm. God. Yeah, his tubes and that nitrous plate. They were split. split. They were split busted. Up. Yeah. We can show you over there. Yeah. The tubes that went across were busted. Yeah, so I just put a vacuum port right there and then took the solder and sorted it up. Mm -hmm. It looked good. Now it's a one-inch spacer. One inch and we got There's another nitrous pins. plate for him. He said he's got pins that goes in and keeps the uh, fittings from turning. So I just took fill it up and sand off it. Anyway, Kerry, I got you a good plate over there, no worries. Mm -hmm. I got one next. And a uh, fuel solenoid. He didn't have a plate, so yeah, I got you selling on the plate, so don't worry. Whenever the underdog is ready. <laughs> Underdog's going nitrous, baby. Oh, yeah. Don't get that keep flapping this time. 100 shot. 100 shot. Psh, 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 psh. 5.96. It might. It might run. 5.90. 6.40? That run a 6.80. No, 6.90. Oh, 6.90. Yeah, with him... Not leaving good, not spinning a little bit out of the hole, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's shifting too soon. He said a bunch of stuff that he could have done better. Maybe 626, 30, I don't know what's that. Spray's going on, though. If it get any nitrous, mm -hmm. the plant did officially blow up. Yeah, crazy. But let's get this other tire broke down and put on and on the car so we can move it. Hot rod out of tires anymore. Yeah, that's it. Right. I didn't get to see a patented dance stand on there. <laughs> and I hit it with the hammer. <laughs> but it, it's like 90 degrees out here, I swear to God. It's uh, now, what it was in the wintertime, it was like, oh, freaking dead, dude. It's cold script. Now it's hotter than shit and humid. It's not that, I mean, it's just humid is what it is. I, I went all day and they complained a bit. It is humid. It's, it's like smothery hot. It's all good though. <laughs> the hammer of Thor. <laughs> Break it all. <laughs> Let that shit slick, boy. <laughs> Most people go to car work for this shit. We do it. Look, I done blowed the damn soul off my shoe doing this dangerous stunt work. Yeah, I can see something. Why ain't you got new shoes, Dad? Huh? Call a race car. <laughs> This is old motor oil, not new. No, it is way old. <laughs> you ain't getting enough in your hand.
Huh. All right, now we're going to use our little compressor and pump this thing up. I'm not going to record all that because it takes forever, but you get the idea. Take it for about 10 minutes. <laughs> all right, we're going to start the car up and move it officially back on its own power for the first time since I went back and forth. I haven't backed it up. Like let it move out of this spot. So that's what I'm trying to do. New tires on it. Same junk on the front. Awesome velocity stacks. And so, yeah. Tune to perfection. And we'll see. Hopefully it'll fire up. No doubt and power. Officially clearing out all the garbage. <laughs> the 1300 pounds of junk I keep in the car. Doing a little change to the front end, taking the 355 off there. Uh, had that big uh, place that was still gold right around the scoop right there. So we're going to paint that and redo that. And just going to do a little different design on the front end. But the 355 is coming off because can't have no line front end. It is what it is. We'll put it on there. So but anyway, that's what I'm doing. He's over uh, making one more change to his carbs. One more little trick he's wanting to do. I'm going to try to take it Thursday night if it don't rain. So we'll see kind of clouded that but we're gonna try to take it Thursday night and test and tune it so anyway let me get this off here before it rains it's clouded up out here right now look like it's gonna rain so gotta hurry gotta hurry see you bye <laughs> Numbers are gone, it's all taped up, back black, nice little fade, and it's been about 15 minutes, so. As you know, if y'all watch this before, we don't fuck around with paint and shit, it gets done and gone, so there you go. We didn't slick it up because we ain't got long for it to dry, because we got to move on to the rest of stuff we're going to do, but I ain't going to tell you, be surprised, so. Just hang on, there's a little bit, little sneak peek. He's still carburetor thrashing over here in carburetor corner. So working hard, look at him. Look at his studies. He studies what he's doing. He's hit behind a hood scoop so nobody can see. Just him and the squirrel.
new paint scheme going on. Really new, it just my got our stage lights set up. That was our heat paint or heat booth, help dry the paint. Put that word down. What? Put that word down and remember it. Ma's up here supervising the paint department today. Yeah. Yep, come see this done right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. And my two arms are slick. Huh? My third arm so slick. <laughs> <laughs> the overlap straight? Yeah, with the airbrush, let the shadows. Yeah. This, it don't look right. Well, he did all that. He don't like it. Said, I mean, it wasn't, what, 15 minutes of paint? No, it ain't, it ain't shit. 15 minutes and 12 hours worth of paint. But it, it don't look right. I don't like it. Yep. It's completely backwards. It's just the lines and everything just don't seem right. They're all pretty cl close as far as... Yeah. We just laid out fine. It's up to you. I uh, don't like it. Don't like it. Redo. Let's, put, put, let's with the front end down. Well, anyway. We'll come up with a new design. A little more, a little, another roll of tape, another, another newspaper. It ain't no big deal. Tape, same nice sense. Roll ain't you. shit to it. Tomorrow it'll be something different. Wait and see. Oh, yeah, you are off tomorrow. Yeah, I'm same off tomorrow. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Labor Day paint job two coming up. I might just black it out and put 302 on and be done. <laughs> no. Keep it simple. That ain't you. You're an artist. Okay, well, tomorrow we're going to do something different because I don't like this. It just don't, it don't jive with me. Dad's back here draining all the water out of our garage. <laughs> Cause he got a big, pu oh, I'm still wearing a helmet. Anyway, <laughs> getting rid of all this tomorrow. We're gonna do something really cool. Way cooler, mo better. For Memorial Day, yay. Is out there, we free to do this shit. Oh, yeah. Yep, and if you look at the top of my car on my roof, see that? Yes. Stars and bars. We may have to go do a 74 red, white, and blue street dino. Do a big old cooker. Huh? I may have to go up there tomorrow and do a big cooker with stars and bars. Memorial Day burning. Memorial Day. Don't get much better. That's fine. Just leave it sitting there. You got to run your cover. Mm -hmm. So we run them. There's pack up there. Red, white, and blue. You have a hot rod ought to have something red, white, and blue on it. You see? All his are done. Stars and bars. And mine's is done. Stars and bars. Your pack's done. Yep, that's what I'm saying. 74's got the roof. <laughs> 74 is a <laughs> walking, talking American flag. Truck ain't got, truck ain't got nothing. Like that. Mm -mm. Might be cool. All right, that's a wrap. We'll be back at tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow's a more. Everything looks better than more. That's it. But I think. It's over here working on a little BP. Look at that distributor. <laughs> See them weights? The springs are like nothing. Look, <laughs> we'll show you get closer when we pull it out of there. But I'd say that's what's causing our timing problems. It getting stuck. It's probably opening up and getting hung, and one's closing and one's not. Or being all erratic and stupid and ain't no telling. Yeah, the gear on the bottom of it, so we thought the gear was going to get We ain't looked at it close yet. I just eyeballed it. You gotta take the top off and get the damn stripper out of it. At least take one of the carburetors off. I think it'll come out. Yeah, one of them.
So we'll take it back, you know. We'll see what's wrong. Which we ain't had this stuff apart in a long time. Not since we put the roller in it. It wouldn't hurt to run the valves too. TLC. He's got some hidden horsepower that time of being stupid. Oh yeah. Just like Colton's with the time it ain't doing what it's supposed to do, it ain't gonna run right. Because we've never paid attention to it before. <laughs> but really, never have. I don't know if I could just go. Grab it. Ready, ready. Right. Take it and go. Let me go back to the old school. That's what we're doing. And I'm sanding this crap off. I'm going to do it all back black and then we'll do something later on. But right now we got to get them running so we can go race them worry about looking later of course like clockwork it came a massive downpour there's something different about this setup you have to change the top and drop the carburetor down about two inches and it staggered them staggered them a little bit so Put on Justin's motor, it picked up. We did the same thing to his. It, it reduces up. that plenum and makes a better fuel charge and better velocity and whatnot. If you ever look at the one that Grumpy Jenkins made, he took the TR1X and cut it, shortened it to that. This is what it was made after. This was modeled after Grumpy's tunnel ram he built. And it just works better. So. Go try it to see. Mm -hmm. So we keep the original TR1X base and then a different top. Mix and match, and we put uh, an advancing system back in the distributor with good springs that actually work. <laughs> Fix that uh, little spring part where it goes through the hole, that little bracket. Now we just got to fix his linkage setup. I can run it. That uh, scoops, uh, way it scoops me, this carburetor sits down lower in the back. The way that scoop drops down, I can still run these on there without the breather and it'll get air. It'll help it. So. But one of them don't have the uh, cross piece in it. we got to put one in it. Oh shit, that's right. Ain't no biggie. I'll make one. Yeah, I ain't got to do it. All you got to do it. You made the one that's in that one. Yeah, I'll make uh, You just got to bend a piece of metal and pop rivet in. Ain't no big deal. Oh, shit. But. Minus fit and back. I'll fix that. Anyway, we'll slide it up here a minute and see if we fix it. I cleaned the strip. We took it all apart. And it got a bunch of damn rust and shit in it. So we'll see if, it see if all that helped the old girl out a little bit. Maybe. It can't hurt it. <laughs> uh, I hope it's a damn problem. Yeah. Well, right now she's zeroed out as far as time it is. Anyway, right now it's zeroed out as far as timing. I'm going to advance it to probably 10 or 12. Just turn it up just a little and then see if it'll fire. And then we'll rev on it and see what the timing is. But more than likely, Dad's probably going to have to readjust this whole carb setup because of the yeah, different I'll plenum. To, I'll have to change the short shit to that. Short plan is going to change the whole adjustment of it. Ain't no biggie. Watch, he'll like this. Yes. He's going to be real excited. Because when you grab it, it just. Gah, gah, instead of. Rawr. I hope it does better. It'll crisp it up. No, it's going to make the other one. I'm going to put the other shit back on it. So. Yeah, it ain't nothing that can't be changed. Yeah. You can see, you can see the difference in them two tops. Yeah. Original. Yeah. Not original. It's about two inches taller. And they say this is so this plenum's so big it don't pick up a good fuel charge. Rick Pennington swears by that. He's he knows a lot more shit than I know, so this is true. That's that's the same plenum that's on the 74. And you can hear the throttle response in that thing. It's it's awesome. 
There's a lot of them that's done it. Well, yeah. nowadays they're running the Team G and takes yeah, they run Team G to run. They run off Team G every damn thing now. It's sucking, getting stuck and stupid. They're like, that's old school. That's 1990s. Yeah. <laughs> that's old. That's 1980. I, I guess old is getting down on the old is getting younger. I don't know what the hell's going on. They do like running some damn. You're going to have to take that one off. Non 60 shit. Or just open the carburetor all the way up, one of them, and let it slide through. All right, we're we'll back here, Matt. Yeah, Still tinkering. I'm gonna have to turn it around. Well, let me get in there and figure out which way your pedal's up. Well, that, this is up. That's up right there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. See if we'll start without pumping any gas. But look up there, you know where it comes down and bolts to the down. See where that that the, the piece that comes up from the firewall? Yeah, this piece is actually about to fall off the damn arm. That thing's got a square part that comes right through like that, and mm -hmm. you got that arm that slides up over it, and it's got a seven sixteenths bolt that goes right. I mean, a nut bolt that goes right through there, and it squeezes on that arm and it slid out a little bit. Didn't you try to slide it out so it would clear the valve cover? Well, that's why I was trying all kind of shit to make it work. So we're fixing the throttle because it, it acts stupid. Like, you can rev it outside and it comes right back down out of smooth like it ought to. You get inside and rev it with a pedal and it wants to stick and stay open, which it was doing before. I meant seven, uh, seven sixteenths. Oh. So, anyway, we've got to fix the throttle. i got to get seven sixteenths. But, so far, I think Dad's liking the, uh, the new setup. Well, sounds a little better if we could just get it back to work. It sounds normal, don't go all over the place. When you rev it from inside. I don't know, no, 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 Fix 57 all fixed and running good. So I'm gonna see if mine will still start and do like it's supposed to. You know how it is. I took it off.
I guess it's all right too. <laughs> well, I was just figured to get one running and another one's gonna. <laughs> all right, so maybe we'll go test and tune soon. Mm-hmm. That they will, if nothing else. Right before everything else goes kaboom. So awesome. But yeah, so yeah, mine's still doing what it's supposed to do. Did you hear it started right up? I mean Huh? Yeah. It ain't it's it's way cold, it ain't even started since yesterday. But Raw, raw, raw. Yeah. Hold on a second, I have to put it down. We got rid of the weird design I had on the roof because I didn't like it. We'll do something different. The whole roof looks nice and glossy. I mean, the whole hood. You've been a good one, old Edelbrock Pop. You've been a good one. You've seen, you've seen many. I'll put it back in the Honda. Nah, it's, it's good. Oh, I guess I better put my scoop back on because it's raining. It's raining. These, these things are shaking right all over the place. They ain't got no bolts in them. So, yeah. All right, there. That's a wrap. Memorial Day weekend. We didn't do no burnouts, no street dinos, nothing like that. Which we're behind on that stuff. But maybe we can go take both of these. Take them both Thursday. Yeah. Well, we can't take yours till training's in. Never mind. I'm just right on the hook. We'll put the hammer down. Gonna drop the hammer. I guess if I can get them transmission in the basement. We will. We will get the training in. And. Gotta find me a clip. I a damn drive shaft. Put in that. <laughs> and uh, shifter rods. I gotta make one or find one or buy one or do something. Yeah, we're going to find something. <sighs> probably easy just to buy them sales of things. If you can find them for a vertigate. $800. Well, they might be. But, <laughs> but yeah, that is a wrap. So, see you next time. Really good. Oh, yeah.